guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're here in my backyard because we have that sport SUV everybody will not stop talking about. This is that all new 2022 Genesis GV70 Sport Prestige. But before we dive into this all wheel drive, twin turbocharged powered SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Genesis, they are the premium brand of Hyundai have been around since 2015. Now, I know you might say to yourself, well, Joe, my great, great, great grandfather that lives down the street from me, he had a 2008 Genesis. Well, that might be the case, but it was the Hyundai Genesis sedan that your great, 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 great grandfather that lives down the street from you might have had, or even the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. Now, in 2015, Hyundai took a page from Toyota took a page from Nissan, took a page from Honda, and they created a premium brand based off that Genesis sedan and coupe. Now, fast forward to model year 2022, their lineup has grown. The original Genesis sedan is now the G80. They have a compact G70, the larger supersized G90, and they've started their portfolio of SUVs with the GV80 and now this all new GV70. So you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, this being a compact sport SUV, what's the competition? I think the biggest competitor to go up against this vehicle and one that I really feel most of the current owners are curious about Genesis and about this vehicle has got to be the BMW X3 M40i. So what I wanna do is I wanna Look at what the GV70 brings to the table, but I also want to compare it to that X3 M40i to see, should you switch? Should you stay away from the German Euro brands, especially BMW, and should you be going with this new SUV from Genesis? So let's go ahead, let's dive into our metallic blue GV70 and find out. Right off the bat, the style. It's interesting because even though this has a lot of the same styling characteristics as the larger GV80 SUV, it really works super well on the smaller size SUV. Starting at the front of the business, you're gonna get that new design styling cue from the brand, that split headlight design. Love the way you got your LED headlights, LED uh, daytime running lamps, and LED turn singles. And the way that they have done it here, you're not going to confuse this with any other brand, even the premium brands from the Japanese side of things, whether it be Honda, uh, excuse me, Acura, Infiniti, or Lexus. So really digging the overall style. Working your way down, you are going to get these massive, large side air curtains. Now, it would have been nice for some of this to bring cool air for the brakes, but it is functional. I, I'm so glad they just went flat black instead of gloss black. And the way that it, they extended it out really gives it a nice aggressive look. Now, when you're comparing this to the BMW, obviously beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but I really think that this checks off so many more sweet spots in the styling department. My big zonk is what the heck were they thinking with the hood? I do not think that this is a smart styling decision to have such a gap here between the front fascia and where the hood is let me know what you think about it in the comment section, especially as we get to the grill area. I mean, that's a, a gap. You could almost stick a Twinkie in there. That's how big of a gap that is. Now, as we slide across, that now becoming synonymous with the brand is that massive home plate of a grill. Super sized, but like I was telling you, on the smaller GV70, it just works. Now, when you go with the Sport Prestige, you're getting this blacked out chrome finish blacked out chrome on your crisscross pattern, and everything kind of follows this same overall design, and I'll point that out as we go around the vehicle, but you do have a forward-facing camera. Down below, you can see how everything comes to a point. Even this gloss black area here extends off very nicely. This is gonna be more cooling and functionality to this lower lip extension, and like on the corners, I'm glad that they went just simple, flat black, but definitely very sleek looking, even though the grill takes up 90% of the front of the vehicle. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think the X3 is a sexier SUV than this 
Genesis GV70, put in the comment section. I wanna, I wanna read what you have to say. Now, when you get up onto that low slung hood, I do love the way the Genesis brand is kinda just highlighted by the body line. They put this indentation that comes off the wings and goes right towards the windshield. Everything else is super clean. You're just gonna have some rises that go towards the A pillar, super sleek. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? You are gonna get these optional 21 inch wheels. Love the dark chrome finish to them. Even this design, I know some of you have not been liking this uh, kind of waffle griddle iron kind of design, but I think it gives some character to what would be just a simple five spoke wheel. So I'm glad that they actually did it. And maybe if you haven't seen it in person, maybe it'll change your mind, but 21 inch wheel, and you'll notice we have nice large six piston calipers, flat satin black with the Genesis branding there. That's gonna give us some wonderful stopping power. We got fully ventilated rotors, and you have that specially tuned suspension for this GV70. Another thing that I love is look, they painted everything all the way around the fender opening, fully painted, no flat black. I think in the wheel department, I'm liking this over the BMW. Even the brakes are looking damn good. Now, continuing down the side, nice body line all the way down, down even below. The way they put this indentation in the doors really gives it a lot of character. Color matched on the mirror caps. We do have our LED slim and thin turn singles with 360 degree cameras, black chrome top and bottom. So I like that cohesive blending of the black chrome on the front, the wheels and the side trim. When you're comparing this to the BMW, I think that looks much more sexier and doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. You're gonna have gloss black roof rails close to the roof line. So they're not gonna create a bunch of turbulence and drag. We do have a panoramic sunroof, color match shark fin antenna, but it's the body lines. Everything flowing towards the rear. Love the way they did the dark chrome finish on the door handles with a little bit of color match. And then look at the trim. Water falls into the rear quarter window. And I really think that they hit the nail on the head on just fresh design. Taking the glass, bringing it down at an angle and a nice curve on the bottom portion gives it such a unique look Coming around to the tail end of the business, same story. You're gonna get a nice, long, low roof spoiler with your third brake light blending in super clean. I wish they would've got rid of this guy here. So we are gonna zonk that, tuck that underneath, but this, smooth as silk, the split tail light section, LED, GV70 badging, the Genesis badge has never looked better. And of course, we have all wheel drive and that 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6. Dropping it on down, this is where I'm gonna have to zonk and it's all gonna start in the corner here. This should have just been smooth, flat black. Do you see how this is flat and this is smooth? Looks good. Why do we have to have this design? Unless I was gonna make some type of waffle, maybe that would help, but I think that it would be so much cleaner, nice and smooth, but I love the super size, massive round exhaust outlets Yes, that's a decorative trim ring, but there are functional exhausts on both sides and the rear diffuser looks really, really slick. Let's pop the hood though and see what's powering our all wheel drive GV70. All right guys, we got the hood popped. You do have two hydraulic hood struts, just like you would find on the BMW. What you'll notice is though, some nice bracing that they put at the front of the business to stiffen up the front end. The great news though, twin turbocharged power tasteful engine cover and just to remind you that you have twin turbos they actually say it twice so they went twin on the twin turbo badging so what are we looking at 3.5 liter v6 twin turbo that's 375 horsepower 391 pound feet of torque it's made it to an eight speed automatic transmission not a zf eight speed but still an eight speed automatic transmission like the bmw BMW does have the ZF. Zero to 60 in this vehicle is around 4.9 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna be 13.6 seconds. Top speed, 150 miles an hour. The vehicle weighs 4,600 pounds. MPGs, 19 in the city, 25 on the highway, and it could tow up to 3,500 pounds. I like being able to see everything very clean underneath the hood, but you know what? Why don't we go ahead 
It does make some noise. I want to find out how much. Let's fire up this GV70 and discover it. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Genesis GV70. This, like I said, is the SUV everybody's talking about. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been doing a lot of talking to myself. Sometimes I just close myself in my closet in my home and just talk to myself about SUVs and which direction I want to go in. How much is this new GV70? Well, this is a Sport Prestige, so MSRP is going to be around starting $53,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Let's go to the door panels. You'll notice nice, smooth material up top. That white contrast stitching just pops off so cleanly. A little bit of silver trim, and then this particular one has the two-tone style with the cream and the dark material really allows it to pop. I love what they did with that carbon fiber style trim on the edge of the armrest area. Switch gear is very nice and bright and silver. Door pocket is a little tight, so maybe one Bavarian pretzel, and that's about it, and a bottle of Surge to wa wash it all down. You do have the optional multi-speaker Lexicon sound system, so that's gonna give you clean tunes. And then as you're going from the door panel to the dash, look at what we got. More two-tone, the stitch work, in here is spot on. Even the way they do the silver trim around the, the uh, handle to open up the glove box. But this is where it's gonna blow the BMW right out of the water. This has that 14 and a half inch infotainment system screen, horizontal setup. Is it a touch screen? Of course it's a touch screen. It's got your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM radio. Let me show you the backup camera. Check it, check it one, two. Look at that, super clear on the resolution. Love the trajectory. You got your 360 degree. I could go ahead, woo, look at that. There we are. I wish it was blue though, but it does show the wheels moving. That's kind of cool. So really nicely done on the technology piece there. And then you're right back to home, which is wonderful. We could even go and bring it up and go 360 that way as well, which is, which is another nice, easy way of doing things. Now, as we drop down, you do have your start stop button conveniently placed. Love the way the trim, look at this, it runs right into the gauge cluster. AC vents are nicely hidden. To control the AC, everything is right here on this TFT display. You do have your dual climate control, heated seats and ventilated seats. Love the quality heated steering wheel, of course the silver on the trim. You got your drive mode selector switch. I'll show you that when you come over the business end. You have the controls for volume and tuning. And you can touch the screen or use the controls. You even have a direct drive control knob similar to the BMW. Open this little door up. What do we got? USBs and wireless charging and some felt lining so you won't scratch your iPhone 78. You do have your rotary dial. This looks like the dark crystal. You know that 1980s hit, the dark crystal, this looks like the dark crystal. You just twist it and go into your different modes, whether you're gonna go driving, you're gonna go in reverse or neutral or park. Two cup holders, key fob, I love it. Good size with the Genesis branding. This also has that parking assist where you could actually move the vehicle forward and backward to get it out of those tight spots that the BMW squeeze play you in while you're at the grocery store. Nice material on the armrest. Open it up, what do we got? We got a 12 volt, we got a little tray for my garage door opener, or you could put some peanut M&Ms in there and a five pound bag of Skittles. Yeah, taste the rainbow, 
and you can look at the rainbow through the panoramic sunroof. But before we show you the sunroof, look at the seats, the leather material, the silver trim, look at the style, the piping, full electric assist, of course, for the passenger and the driver. We got massage seats and you got that chauffeur setting. I like this. You can move the seat all from the buttons on the side of the seat. That's smart thinking. Alcantara microfiber suede material up top on the headliner. We open up the shade. Sunshine. Look at that. It goes all the way back. Sunroof opens. Real easy operation. But why don't you come at and get your butt over on the driver's side? I want to show you behind this leather wrapped steering wheel in the Genesis GV70. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 GV70. Silver trim on the sill. Very simple. Comparing that to the BMW, the BMW you are gonna get LED lighting, but I do love the way they did the foot box. You have a nice dead pedal, aluminum brake pedal and throttle. And if you notice that design from the grill, it's not like that by accident. They did it on purpose. And you got all your seat controls, including massaging seat action, plus two memory seat settings, which is gonna make this a very comfortable, but also sporty SUV to drive. I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of headroom. Steering wheel. I promised you a leather wrap steering wheel, and here it is. Nice two-piece leather, perforated and smooth with the contrast stitching, even the stitching on the horn button. One of the best-looking new steering wheels on any SUV today. Paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that eight-speed automatic transmission, and then the gauge instrumentation is full 3D. You're not gonna find this on the BMW. Check it out when I go into the different modes. So you got Eco, we got Comfort, Sport. Those look like lightsabers. You're, you're the Jedi. I'm not your father, Luke. And then you could go into Sport Plus or you could do custom settings. Sport Plus is where it's at. Wait until we do the on throttle action. And you also have those turn signal cameras that you guys love that gives you that blind spot monitoring down the side of the vehicle, super clear. You're not gonna get that on the BMW. And you have electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. But why don't we go ahead? There's carbon fiber style here, leather everywhere. Let's jump in the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna enjoy this GV7. Hi guys, back seat time. Plenty of room in here. I was a little concerned with that sexy roof line. I thought I was gonna have to duck and cover in here, but look, I could sit nice up and straight and my mom will be proud of me that I'm not hunched over and plenty of headroom. Now the Zonk is on the backs of the seat, you are getting just plastic. So compare that to the BMW, you're gonna get different material. You do have the cargo nets just like the BMW. I'm gonna Zonk them on both of them. I'd rather have a nice solid leather pocket. You could put, you know, just about anything in there. Nunchucks, a Chinese star. If you do that with these, it's just gonna rip through it. So just something to think about, maybe just put a stuffed animal in there. It's all about love rather than war, but it's up to you. Command center, we got a decent one here. You got your rear AC vents. They bring the stitching, look at the attention to detail. Bring the stitching all the way back. We do have our climate control, heated seats, no ventilated seats, but we do have two USBs and a home power source. So they got you covered there and literally they have covers. There's that chauffeur style. I can move the seat. Say you're Little sister sitting up front, you could crush her like a sandwich. Just keep folding that seat down. But look at all the room. I'll move the seat back. We'll let her breathe. Stop crying. But see, you move the seat back, plenty of room. Does the seat recline? Of course it does. And look how far back it goes. The only thing is no sliding seat. But you do get the reclining seat and you are gonna get a semi-soft armrest with two cup holders and all the beautiful stitch work back here. But while we go ahead, let's see how much space we have for all the things we like to carry from place to place in our GV7. All right, guys, time to get into the cargo area. You're gonna hit the button right here by that wiper. Pops up, nice automatic electric lift. And what you're gonna notice is a very low loading floor and plenty of space, both width-wise and height-wise. Now, what are we looking at actually hard numbers? You're looking at 29 cubic feet of space with the seats up, Fold the seats down, you're almost gonna get 57 cubic feet of space. As you can see, we have our emergency cargo net with the Twinkies in there. If anybody gets hangry on a family trip, pull over immediately and stuff one of those right into their mouth. Another thing, we're gonna lift up the cargo floor. 
We got a little bit of storage underneath here. If you ever want to read the Genesis story, this is it, all 12 volumes. That's good reading material while you're eating a Twinkie or choking on one. And then of course the rear seats. I love the way they have handles. Watch this, boom. And then I'm gonna come over to the driver's side and do the same thing, shaboom. Now you got that almost 57 cubic feet of space. Plus, there is a 12 volt as well, right by the Twinkie. So if you're gonna go to the beach, if you're going tailgating, you got your plug in right there. But you know what? I'm ready to plug in. I'm ready to plug my body into that driver's seat. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Genesis GV70 for a little spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2022 Genesis GV70, that 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 with the all wheel drive and the eight speed automatic. Of course, I have it in sport plus mode. That is something new for 2022. And from a slow roll, oh, here we go. Nice. I like the way it builds power. Nice and smooth. On the brakes, those massive six piston calipers. Look at this. Yeah. Smooth on the downshifts. So let's talk about a little bit about what's going on there. So in that Sport Plus mode, I'm telling you, it's worth every penny because as you could hear it really holds on to that gear for a longer period of time so that when you get back on throttle you're not waiting for the eight speed to drop down the shifts are so smooth fast and crisp and then what i really enjoy is by leaving it in automatic mode when you're on the brakes the way that it downshifts it blips the throttle keeps the chassis nice and stable and when comparing that to the x3 M40i, I really like the way that this transmission shifts better. You have the larger infotainment system screen, visibility is great out the front, the all-wheel drive, and then having the twin turbos, those smaller turbos, when they spool up, there's not as much turbo lag as on a single turbo engine setup, and that really allows that torque delivery to be, to be much linear. All the appointments in here are top freaking notch. All right, guys, we're gonna do on throttle, in sport plus mode, automatic shifting by the transmission from a dead stop. On throttle, here we go. Nice. Put you back in the seat, very well planted, very competent shifts. On those six piston calipers, clamping on those front rotors, here we go. I like how the transmission shifts. I really do. Let's see how the balance is here. Left to right. Yeah, there we go. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on here a little bit more. So what I am thinking that the BMW is better in is definitely communication. And that hasn't always been the case on recent years. BMWs. It used to be BMW, the ultimate driving machine. They worked away from that. Well, they took big steps back to that position. This could use, and what I mean by all this, this could use a little bit more feedback coming to the steering wheel. I want to know especially what those front wheels are doing. Another thing is I wouldn't mind just a little bit of slip from the rear tires to just allow me to square the corner off a little bit better but definitely carries the speed really well. And as you saw in that transition, left, right, flickability is really, really competent in this GV70. All right, guys, dead stop. We're gonna shift with the paddles. On oh, throttle, here we go. Nice. Look at this. On the brakes. Back on throttle. Shifts 
from the, the transmission when you hit the paddle. Smooth down shifts. I just need a little stickier tire. I think a stickier tire, not the too crazy, but just a little stickier would really just give this an even more connected feel than what you're getting, but definitely the balance is there. The sound is pretty good. It's nothing that is mind-blowing, but it's not terrible either that's, that's being pumped into the cabin. I love the 3D dash. You get used to that backward operating tachometer. Remember, it's a counterclockwise tachometer. I would prefer just a straight up regular style tach. And I wish that when you went in Sport Plus mode, one thing I'm definitely gonna zonk is I wish that they gave you a little bit more racier head up display. And what I mean by that is definitely a gear indicator, nice and large with the tech on the head up display that would allow you to just keep in touch a little bit more with what's going on with the GV70. But definitely compared to the X3 M40i, you're really, really getting a lot more here. All right, guys, one more time for you, one more time for me. Oh, throttle, here we go. It does put a smile on your face, especially, like I said, with those very purposeful shifts. Let's see how those brakes feel again. On the brakes, nice, good grip. Not a bunch of fade. Love the steering wheel in this thing. The thickness of the wheel. Smooth as silk. On the brakes. Yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> so, as you can see and hear, the way that it did the downshifts as I was going into that right left transition was just spot on the money exactly what I wanted and that's what I like about the automatic is that it actually is believe it or not more enjoyable in automatic mode because it's that confident of a of, an, of a transmission and then having all the finishes in here that beautiful design with the carbon fiber style the stitch work comfortable seats I'm so glad you could adjust the bolstering that makes it so worthwhile because in the twisty bits, it just holds you like a baseball glove. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel bringing this Genesis GV70 and comparing it to the attributes of the BMW X3 M40i. We're gonna get back to where this all started and wrapped up. So I'm gonna see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another great day with this Genesis GV70. I definitely wanna thank everybody over at Genesis USA for allowing Radies Rides access to this vehicle. Is it that standout going up against the BMW X3 M40i? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm so curious to know what you feel about it. I really think that for their first compact sport SUV, Genesis has done the business and a bang up job. But if you are new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, two ways to do it. Click the first link, become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to the muscle behind the camera, the light of everybody's life. Thank you, Lori, for doing the business so well and working so hard. Show us some love in the comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.